Hey, Carl. Robinhood talks a lot about democratizing the stock market. They're moving on to the IPO market this morning. The startup saying just about 20 minutes ago, they're going to let users buy shares of companies as they go public. So customers can put in requests for shares of companies that are in the process of going public. Robinhood will partner with investment banks here to get an allocation of shares for their customers. So they're not an underwriter in these deals. They're doing a partnership model. I'm told the amount of shares Robinhood will get, it's going to vary. That will depend on supply. And this is kicking off today with Figs. That company makes medical scrubs and other equipment. They're going public today at a roughly $3 billion valuation. They say in their S1 that they are reserving 1% of shares for traders on Robinhood's app. And guys, important to know, this is really a break from Wall Street tradition. IPO shares are not always easily accessible for retail traders. Historically, they're more reserved, and there's a lot more of a focus on those institutional investors and high net worth individuals. And some have argued that those buyers are really the better customers in an IPO. They might be more likely to buy and hold versus retail investors who really have the reputation for coming in and often flipping shares. SoFi Guys was the first fintech to roll this out. They made a similar announcement back in March. They have a feature now on their app. That company, though, does act as an underwriter, so a key difference there. And guys, this comes, of course, as Robinhood plans its own IPO that's expected in early summer. No comment from Robinhood on if this feature will be available for the IPO, but the timing, you've got to think that uh, that would make sense for them to, to offer this for their own listing. Back to you.